Hello boys and girls. Today we're going to talk about printmaking with the Printmaking Center. The first thing we're going to talk about is making a collagraph with some foam that has a sticky side. Now this particular foam is like a sticker, so it has a paper backing. So I'm going to cut this up and just make a little bit of a collage with it. The reason it's called a collagraph is because it's like a collage. Collagraph collage. I'm going to take the paper off and just stick those pieces down and then I'm going to take a pencil and I'm going to draw on them with a pencil to make a design. And when I do this, I kind of have to press down hard because that sticky side isn't very sticky. It tends to want to pop off. That's also why my pieces are so simple because they want to pop off pretty easily. To print that, I'm going to take my um, tray where I put my ink. I'm going to take some ink and I'm just going to put a little tiny bit of ink on the tray on one side. I'm actually going to do two colors. Um, that's called a rainbow roll. That's my brayer. I'm going to push that ink down like a puddle to the end. And then I'm going to use my brayer and pull the ink down. Or I could pull it up either way. But I'm only going in one direction. So if you look at the side, I'm going forward and then picking up my brayer. So it's not really going back and forth till it makes a Velcro sound. Then what I'm going to do is roll the ink nice and neatly over my block and I'm going to take a piece of paper and I'm going to put the paper, put, take my, in the middle of the paper I'm going to put my name and class code, put that on top of the block and then kind of press it down a little bit and I actually have a little printing press. I'm going to put that inside the printing press and press down pretty hard and just make sure you do that several times and get the whole block. So if the block's bigger than the press, just kind of turn it around until you get all the sides. And then you're going to peel it off. And that's how you print it. It's a little hard to see these colors on white paper, so I'm going to show you how to do the same thing again with dark colored paper, a dark blue. I'm going to load up my brayer with the ink going in one direction till it makes a Velcro sound and it's nice and even. Then I'm going to roll it over the block nice and even over the block, over and over. Put my paper on top with my name showing. My name and class code should be showing. Then I'm gonna slide it into the press. Press really hard down. Stand up when you do the pressing part. And peel it off and you should be able to see what your print looks like. That's our print. So I have two prints, different colored paper. And that's it. Now when we do a foam black print, it's a little bit like the other kind of foam, but it doesn't have a sticky side. So what I'm going to do is pushing down pretty hard, I'm going to draw something on my foam. This is going to be reversed, so you don't really want to put like letters or numbers unless you reverse them. And I'm going to just draw my picture, and when I do this, the best tool to use is a dull pencil. So you don't want to use a really sharp pencil because it can actually cut through the foam all the way through. You want to use one that's a little bit dull. Once I do that, I'm going to print it pretty much the same way. I'm going to try rolling that ink over the black. Now this ink is a dark blue that I'm going to use and because there's only one color I can go in both directions with my brayer but I still only want to roll it out by lifting it and I'm going to roll that up nice and even and you just want to kind of listen for that velcro sound that tells you that it's pretty good. Now I'm actually folding my paper in half here because um, I don't want it to get all covered in ink, so putting my printing paper on top of the block, putting it into the press, pushing down, make sure you get the whole thing, and then you're going to pull it out. And that's my print. Now I'm going to do that one more time just so you can see it. When I roll up my block, I'm putting a piece of paper underneath it because that way if there's extra ink it kind of catches the mess. That's why I opened up my paper there. So I, I just want to roll my black up nice and even with my ink and then I'm going to put it on a clean side of my paper, write my name and class code on my paper, put it on top, put it in the press, press down, press down really good and then peel the paper off. So two different prints, different kinds of paper, looks quite different. Now the next kind of printmaking that we're going to do is called monoprinting with a jelly plate. So the jelly plate is a stretchy piece of rubbery stuff and it's on a little plastic tray. And we're going to take a tiny little spatula and take some tempera paint and put the tempera paint on top of the jelly plate and roll it out with a brayer. 
And I like to use two colors and then I like to sort of make them not, so they're not all the same. So there's like lights and dark parts. I'm gonna use my, some of my printmaking tools like stamps to press in designs. And then I'm gonna put my paper on top, make sure your name and class code is showing and give it a little back rub. So I'm just gonna rub, 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 peel it off. And that's a jelly print, uh, a mono print. And I'm gonna add a little more paint, roll it out with my brayer, use my tools to draw in or, or press in a design, take a piece of paper, name and class code, give it a back rub, and that's a, that's a mono print. Now, you can do this over with different layers, so I could print it once and then add some other colors and print it again. If your brayer is getting kind of dirty, just take a piece of scrap paper out of the recycling and just roll it onto the scrap paper and it'll clean itself off. Same thing with your jelly plate. If it's kind of dirty, then you want to get rid of some of the extra, just kind of peel it, press it on there and peel it off and it'll clean itself off pretty well. So I'm going to try another layer now with a new color. I'm going to roll it up, make some kind of a design with my stamps or my tools and I'm just going to press in. One thing you want to be careful is don't use anything really sharp because you don't want to actually cut into the jelly plate. And that is a monoprint. 